Today let's make some coasters out of resin. Welcome back to the studio. If you're new here, I am Tammy at Tam's Creative Corner, and today is all about the coasters. Now, last time I did a resin cheese board, and if you want to see that, I'll link it above. But that turned out really beautiful, kind of earthy fall colors, and so I thought that I would use this brand new mold I got from La Cranch. It's a geode slice mold, and it comes with four. It's really an awesome solid mold, and I thought I'd give it a test drive and bring you along for the journey. And so let's get started. Here are some of the supplies that I'll be using in today's video, and I will be sure to list them below in the description. Just hit that little drop down arrow and it'll open up the whole description box with links and everything. And I'm gonna be using counterculture DIY resin today and this awesome mold by La Cranch, and I will link that below as well. So make sure you have your mold level and then I begin mixing my resin. These TCP cups are great. I just use the one to one ratio measurement because this resin is a one to one and it makes it really easy to measure it out and then mix it very thoroughly until it's well combined. And then I start pouring my resin out into portion cups and this is where I will add my pigments and glitter. After you've mixed a big batch of resin, make sure you divide it out into smaller containers or you're ready to pour it out on your board or canvas because if you leave it in a dense quantity, it will cure really fast. So today I'm going to be using May Spring pigments and it's a combination of their two-tone pigments and their gemstone pigments. So I love them and of course I will link them below and provide a coupon code if available for you. So a good rule of thumb is about 10% pigment to resin ratio. I kind of play it by ear depending on the pigment I'm using. And now I'm taking the rest of my clear resin and I'm putting it in another container and then I'm adding just glitter to it. The mix is called Woodland and it's a great warm combination that goes with these colors. And now I'm going to mix in my powdered pigments with my resin. Stir really gently or you will get a big poof of powder in the air and all over your board. And do be sure to be wearing a respirator and even protective glasses when you're working with epoxy resins and even with some of the pigments. These May Spring pigments are just delicious. So this one's the peach gold and it's one of my favorite pigments. It's a two-tone pigment, which means as it shifts on your board and in your work, it can take on two different colors. It's really cool. And here's a close-up of that glitter. And then I just started with that wine color around the outside rim of my mold. This is the first time I've used this mold, so I'm really excited just to see what it does and how easily it comes out once it's cured.
and here comes that amazing gold and you see I'm just working my way toward the center again I have really no idea what I'm doing I am just winging it as usual and we'll see how they turn out in the end and I um, think it was a good experiment and I learned a thing or two so I'm excited to do some more of these And now I'm just taking a little bit of my extra clear and adding it to the middle before I go in and pour in the glitter. I love that this resin is thicker and it doesn't move around as much as my art resin. It's also a good resin if you're using it for functional art items because it can take a lot more heat once it's cured and you still have a really great working time with it. Like I think I worked this for 45 minutes to an hour. Using my heat gun, I'm just softening the lines and blending some of those pigments and it brings out some of the cool effects that you get with them. And now I'm just trying to create some more interest by adding some color in and drawing it through my resin with my popsicle stick. In other words, I'm just trying to use up the rest of my resin because I hate it to go to waste. And these molds are a great way to use up leftover resin if you're working on a big project. So I kind of think I might always have something like this on hand so that I have somewhere to pour anything I have left over. We don't like wasting resin. So once it's cured, I go in with a copper leafing pen and I'm just drawing some lines to try to create more of a geody look. Didn't really turn out as planned, but again, this was all trial and error. And now I'm going in with that same resin and I'm just pouring a clear coat to top these off and fill up the mold. And using my popsicle stick, I move it to the edges of the mold. And then with my torch, I pop the bubbles and let it cure. So I was crossing my fingers and hoping these would pop right out of this mold and they sure did. I am in love with this mold. Everything came right out without any issues and it has a really cool edge on it. And so I'm going to go ahead and paint that edge with a gold leaf marker just to give it a finished look. I did add some rubber feet to the back once I was done and here is that finished product and it paired really well with that little cheese board that I made. Not bad for a first try. If you like what I'm doing I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. Happy creating everyone!